Whereas as you'll see with the responsive search ad here, what happens is you give Google Ads up to 15 different headlines, up to four different descriptions, and then Google Ads will dynamically make different combinations to figure out which one will drive the best results for your business. So whereas in the past, the recommendation was, have, was to have at least three expanded text ads per ad group, now you just need one responsive search ad per ad group. I've included a template here and at the end of this course in the template section to help you create your responsive search ad before bringing it into Google Ads. But for today, I'll show you what happens when you create one. So final URL, same. Uh, I'm just going to put in my own website right now just for example purposes. Okay. Now display path. This is optional. But if you want to signal to users that they're going to go to a specific part of your website when they click on your ad, then you can put that here. So we may say kids close. And you can see now once I click out of it, it updates the example right here. Okay, now up here, ad strength incomplete. What does that mean? This is a point of confusion for a lot of people. So I want to be really clear. This is not the same as quality score. But the things you need to do to get a really strong ad strength are the same things that are going to give you great ad relevance and even contribute a bit to landing page experience. So because of that, I say that your ad strength should always be excellent because doing so will also have the impact of having you have a stronger quality score. To be clear, ad strength, quality score, two completely different things. But the things that give you an excellent ad strength will also give you a better quality score. Okay, so what do we need for ad strength? We need to have enough headlines, include our keywords in our headlines. You also need to include your keywords in your descriptions. It just doesn't say that there. And then your headlines need to be unique and your descriptions need to be unique. So as we go along and create our different headlines and descriptions, we want to get that ad strength to be excellent. We will not stop till it's excellent. Okay, so first headline, uh, name of my business, we're going to call it Jill's Clothing Store. Lovely. Now, if I come back up, you can see the preview mode here, right? It's going to start to show you how that might appear. Now, I want to include some of my keywords in my headlines. So I might say, buy used kids clothes. Okay. Now we start to see more examples of what this will look like. It's even showing us examples of some of the site links that are included in this account. Um, now, when we're creating an ad, there's a few different things you want to have. You want to make sure your keywords are included. So let's also do thrifted kids clothing online. You'll notice the live character counts. You have up to 30 characters per headlines. Oops, I didn't spell thrifted correctly. And up to 90 characters per description. Okay, so I've gone from incomplete to poor. <laughs> we're moving on up. Um, but uh, it's not just about including keywords in your headlines. That's important. You want to make sure you also have your business name. That's something Facebook ad experts often forget. This isn't like a Facebook ad, right? Unless you explicitly include it, your brand name will not be there. If you need some more ideas, you can actually click view ideas here. And these aren't tailored specifically to your store, but they're showing you the kind of things that work well in a headline. So call to action phrases, shop online now I like promotion phrases, um, I don't know, great value for money, sure. Like these are just a good starting point, high quality products. Look at that ad strength shooting up. Uh, I don't have locations near you, um, in stock and ready to ship, free home delivery, sure. So now you see we're starting to get more headlines. Our headlines are unique because if your headlines are all the same, they might as like it's not actually giving the algorithms enough information to mix and match and learn. Uh, so you want to make sure you have variety. If I had made my headlines, and I do see this in some accounts, buy used kids clothes, thrifted kids clothes, we have kids clothes, lots of kids clothes, try our kids clothes. Like, yeah, you'll have a lot of headlines, but they're not unique enough. So that's what make your headlines unique is getting at. Now, a little trick I like to use here is dynamic keyword insertion. Uh, there's another module specifically about that. So I'll go into more detail there. This is the quick what you do squiggly bracket keyword insertion, then type one of your keywords here. Uh, let's choose title case, apply. Boom, include popular keywords in your headlines. What this is going to do is whatever the user searches that triggers one of my keywords, it's going to put that keyword as the headline. And there's a whole other lesson about this, but I just wanna show you how that automatically gets us that checkbox right there. Okay, 
So two things we're still missing have to do with descriptions. We have to include our keywords in our descriptions and make our descriptions unique. I'm not going to show you an example of good copywriting or writing a good description right now. Just trying to complete this to show you the example. So shop the best selection of used kids clothes in Canada at Jill's store. Okay, I got one. See, ad strength is went from average to good. Now I need more. Um, thrifted children's clothing for busy, eco-conscious parents. Free.